Right, now, starting point for TMJ dysfunction, let's look at the anatomy first. So here we have the ear. The joint itself is right in front of the ear. Now, it's covered with a layer of cartilage. We also have the little articulate disc, which is cartilage as well, that sits in there. The mandible is the jaw bone coming up here, and then we've obviously got the temporal bone from the skull. So hence the reason it's called the temporomandibular joint. So it's at that point where the disc slides underneath the joint there. When that starts to wear unevenly, that's when you'll start to get issues with the joint itself. So obviously when your client's opening and closing their mouth, Mouth, you may get clicking, you may get a clunking, you may get popping, all of those sensations. So that's telling us already that there's some wear going on at that articulate disc. But not, we're not that concerned about that. What we're concerned about is probably the muscles in and around that interact with this area. So the starting point, we have the masseter muscle that comes up here. So that's our main chewing muscle. Um, we have the pterygoid muscle that's underneath here that attaches onto the actual temporomandibular joint itself. So we have what we call the lateral and the medial under here. Then we have the temporalis muscle up here. So when you clench your teeth, you will feel the muscle up in here contracting as well. So these muscles are all the main sources of soft tissue dysfunction with the TMJ itself. We have other muscles down here, the digastric, that also plays a role because obviously it's involved in the chewing action and obviously with our tongue movements as well. It is not uncommon for TMJ sufferers to get muscle tension headaches as well. And that brings in obviously our trap muscles, our SCM and also our scalene muscles, which we'll be looking at as well. So these are the muscles that we're gonna be dealing with from a soft tissue point of view.